Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this example, we have neon, okay? It's compressed from 100 kilopascals and 20 degrees Celsius to 500 kilopascals in an isothermal compressor. Okay, no change in temperature. I'm gonna put that delta T is equal to zero. Perfect. It says determine the change in the specific volume, okay, and specific enthalpy of neon. That's not what says specific enthalpy, that's the lowercase h. It gives us our gas constant, and it gives us the constant pressure specific heat of neon. So let's do this. So first off, we're going to draw the process. It's isothermal. Isothermal looks kind of like this on a PV diagram. It's a little bowed down. It actually does have a perfectly set shape depending on the gas, but I'm not grading you on having a perfectly accurate um, process diagram. Just know it bows down a little bit. They'll help you when you're trying to visualize these kinds of things. Okay, now that we have a process diagram, we need to find the volume at both states because that's what we're trying to figure out, the change in specific volume. So we can do that. We can use our ideal gas law because neon acts as an ideal gas. And so we have, let's see, we have the specific gas constant. We're given a temperature. It's isothermal, that doesn't change, nice. And we have a pressure. So it seems like it's pretty much a plug and chug scenario. So I plug it in. So first temperature is still 20 degrees Celsius. Pressure one is 100 kilopascals. As a note, it would not be 22 degrees Celsius when I plug it in here. It would have to be 22 plus 273, which is going to be equal to 295 Kelvin. Make sure you switch to Kelvin, otherwise everything's going to go bad. And it reminds you here with the Kelvin. It reminds you here with the Kelvin. Just make sure you're using the Kelvins. And then when I change pressure, I also am going to change my specific volume. As a note, since these two are constant, I could have used that to help myself out here because P1 over P2 is equal to V1 over V2. If I did it right, I did it right. Nice. This would be the case here because it's isothermal. So when the pressure increased by a factor of five, the specific volume decreased by a factor of five. And so with this, I have a change in specific volume. It got smaller from one to the other. What's the exact value? I didn't actually plug it in for you, but I'll go ahead and get it for you right now. We can figure this out. Let's see here, let's see. So 0 0.2430 minus 1.215 is a change of negative 0.972 meters cubed per kilogram. Okay, that's my delta V lowercase. I'm trying to get a little there. I'm trying to get a little like swoop that you see right there to make sure you can tell it's the lowercase v. How about the enthalpy change? Well, remember, my enthalpy change for constant pressure specific heats is just equal to that specific heat times my change in temperature. But this was isothermal. So what was my change in temperature? It was zero. So my change in enthalpy would also be equal to zero. That's it. We're done. We finished the problem. Not too bad, right? Okay. We'll stop here for now. We'll keep on going next time. Bye-bye.